something you and your guests will truly enjoy. Oh, mm, mm. oh, oh my God, those are fantastic. Mm, mm, mm. You're gonna lie that. Oh, you're gonna lie that. Hi, I'm Keith Colbert. Welcome to Casey's Kitchen. I'll be doing some recipes that's easy and fun, and something that you and your guests will truly enjoy. Hi, welcome back to Casey's Kitchen. Good to be back. I'm gonna make a little different video this time. I'm gonna do a remake of our baked beans. Personally, yeah, I flubbed it. I put too much in it. I didn't stay to my basic recipe. So this time, this is the true Southern baked beans. Very simple and easy to do. Cut two cans baked beans, seven pieces of bacon, red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper, white onion, ketchup, brown sugar, mustard, optional, garlic powder, and of course, salt and pepper. I'm using white onion. You can use yellow onion, it's no problem there, but the white onion I think is very sweet and very tasty. And of course, use brown sugar, that's important. That gives you your color and your flavor profile that we're trying to get to. Garlic powder. This is optional. If you like the flavor of garlic, and most Korean people do, I would take and put a little bit of garlic powder in it, just to your taste. Or you could use one clove of fresh garlic, but then it's really powerful, you can, you'll get a little more heavier garlic taste. So it's strictly up to you. Me personally, a little shake of this, goes a long way. I'm putting my yellow, green, and red pepper in. Too simple. You can see the color is already great. The white onion. The ketchup. brown sugar, and last, the mustard, and then once we put it in the bowl, we'll place the bacon because that actually adds to the beauty of the dish. Now I'll mix this up good. A couple of shakes of garlic powder. And just a little bit of salt. And finally black pepper. And for those of you, when you're using fresh ground pepper, oh, it tastes so much better. And actually it takes a little less. Now we've got all of our beans mixed up. I'll just mix these a little more to bring those spices in. You can see the color of this is very, it looks like a Christmas tree almost. Since we're getting close to the holiday season, I'm just saying, your family will love this dish. I know I do, and it smells great already. Now, I will put it in my cooking bowl, and then we'll place the bacon on top, slide it into an oven at uh, 190 degrees Celsius, 45 minutes and you have a great dish. All right, I'm gonna bowl these up. I'm making a small bowl here for a presentation. So yeah, you fancy it up. And you could actually make you guest each little bowl like this. You know, say you're having a party at something special, a reunion or a, hey, an anniversary. You get in there and cook something like this for your wife and you put a little heart on top of it. How special is that? 
But I'm gonna put my beans in the cooking bowl. It's a Pyrex bowl, good for the oven, so no problem there. And this will cook down great. Already smells good. Can't wait to try it. I backed off on the sugar a little bit to make it a better, better dish. And I'm telling you, it's looking beautiful. Now, when I put the when I put the bacon on top, it's also it's a, it's a decoration, but it's also like a little gauge for if it's cooked. And you know, when you're doing it with your guests and people coming over to enjoy it, they each one get a little taste of this beautiful bacon. Now, this is a, a, an applewood smoke. You can use hickory or any type of bacon you want to use, but it does that smoke flavor added to it. It's just phenomenal. I hope I got enough pieces to cover this whole bowl. And when this cooks, the bacon actually browns up so beautiful and adds so, so much flavor to it. There we go. We're ready, pop it in the oven and you're in for a treat. Something you and your guests will truly enjoy. Let's taste these. Take a look at this. Oh yeah, we'll get a little piece of that bacon. Wow. Mm. Oh. Wow. Much better. You'll like this recipe. Mm. Oh yes. Much better. Mm. Something you and your guests will truly enjoy. Uh, we think we could do a better job with the video, of course, as we learn and go through everything. But we said we're going to redo these videos. First one, baked beans. We are going to keep it basic, easy, something you and your guests will truly enjoy.